Hey, 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 Libra. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Monday, January 13th to the 14th, Intuitive Love Tarot Read. <laughs> this is for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below. I do appreciate it, and thank you for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. Do comment below, please. Let me know if this resonates. I love hearing from you guys, interacting, creating this community. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, so let's see. Oh, please note that energy and time are fluid. So feel free to switch up the rules as you deem necessary and know that this could be past, present, or future. All right, Libra, let's go. What is going on for Libra in love? Hmm. Eight of Wands, the Hermit, and the Eight of Cups. Let me get a message from Spirit here, and then we will continue. Create areas of your life that are just for you. It's like your time, right? But they want you to do something that's just for you. A Perhaps it's a desire and a wish that you've long held. You just have, haven't done anything about it. Seek it out if you do not have it. If you can, if you're like, no, there's nothing I desire. They're saying, seek it out. You'll find it. Seek. Seek and you shall find, right? Okay. So let's see what's going on here. Hmm, what are you walking away from? For some of you, you're walking away from something. You're going toward a path a passion, a desire. Could be somebody at a distance, but there are passionate messages going back and forth. Okay, whatever you walked away from, you could have blocked this person as well. Well, that is strange. It's like, uh, now, the Eight of Wands reversed is blocked. This is fascinating. Um, upright it is you know could be blocking communication it's like I'm getting both meanings from this card one that you're actually communicating with somebody your passions your desires and they could be at a distance and two that you're blocking somebody else that's interesting I love when spirit surprises me okay so let's see what's going on with this eight of cups what is Libra walking away from? Because I don't read reversals because they'll just tell me the meanings. And that's just a that's just a mind thing for me. I don't like seeing things reversed. Okay. So we have the seven of cups here and the four of swords. There's a lot of confusion that you're leaving behind. So you've pieced out. You've got the Four of Swords and the Hermit here. So something I'm feeling is ending. Um, it could be just confusion ending, but I'm feeling a person attached to this. It could be a Virgo with the Hermit here. Hmm. Okay. Why is the Seven of Swords here? I mean, Seven of Swords. Seven of uh, Cups. Why did I say that? Yeah. Um, a lot of fighting. A lot of anger, possible jealousy going on. Not sure. Jealousy about what? Jealousy about what? Page of Wands. Somebody's excitement. Somebody's. I don't know. Somebody's outlook for the future. It's like the other was jealous of that. 
that's a strange message, but it's for somebody. Tell me about this Hermit card. Page of Swords and the Two of Wands. Yeah, when you're in this hermit mode, you're thinking about the communication that existed between this other person and, and how they was arguing. It was like winning at all costs. So you needed to walk away from it. You needed to, um, and somebody felt like they needed to win. It's like they always needed to win, right? So with this two of wands here, you're looking out into your future and you're saying, okay, what now, right? You may have had an existing plan and now it's sort of changed. So you could be looking into somebody else. And this is where this eight of wands comes in, this communication. Six of pentacles. And you're thinking that is a Libra card, four of wands. Okay, you're thinking about the give and take. It's either in your past relationship or this one that this present one that you're communicating with. Um, some of you may have had a previous relationship with them and you're thinking about the give and take, the reciprocity that existed between you. It, it was somebody that you had a, um, either a long-term relationship with, um, could have been a marriage, but definitely a commitment. Clarify this. Um, yeah, this is a wish of yours. This is this is actually destiny that you're at this point. This all happened because because of this. This this is karmic destiny. This is coming up all week in my readings for uh, the mid January readings. This is coming up all the time. So this is a long held wish and desire for you. which is interesting because they're saying do something just for you, right? And I'm feeling like, think about that one, that message in the beginning w regarding the hermit when you go within, okay? But this is about balance. This is about fairness. Also listening to your intuition because you do have, this is a twin flame card of mine. So is this. And then you have the eight here. Now that obviously isn't for everybody, but I just like to mention it just in case it's like people are out there. That's my twin. That's my twin. Like if you already know you have a twin, right? Okay. All right. Let's see if there's any advice. Any advice? What advice do you have for Libras for the situation that they're walking away from? Whatever they're confused about. Queen of Wands and the Hangman. Okay. I just heard no time to waste. You need to go forward, see this from a different perspective, and figure out the direction that you want to go in. And this is why this is so important right now, this hermit energy. Okay. Not only to look within and see where you want to go, but, but figure out that desire, that wish that will only be for you, something that you just do for yourself, right? But the queen of wands is fire, is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and she is all about creativity. She is the temptress of the deck as well. Okay. What turns you on? I just heard that. What turns you on? Go in that direction. Okay, Libra. All right. Well, there you have it. I hope you resonated with this reading. If you didn't, maybe the next one you will. So please share and subscribe right down below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to look out, hit that notification bell so that you get updated whenever I upload my mid-month videos are coming. Okay, there's already four out. I believe yours will be done today. So don't forget to hit the bell, Libra. I will talk to you soon and you have a great day. Yeah.